scam cases are growing, and scammers are becoming increasingly sophisticated with their tactics. Whether you know it or not, you may have received a scam call, message or email. To target victims, scammers will impersonate companies to trick the user into releasing their information like passwords, credit card numbers, or any other personal identifiers. Today, we will learn how to protect ourselves from SMS scams. Do remember to subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon to receive the latest update. Scams are part of social engineering attacks. Let's go step by step to understand more about SMS scams. We will start with social engineering. What is social engineering attack? Social engineering involves deceiving or inducing victims to make mistakes to obtain necessary personal information, system access, essential data, and virtual property. Quick examples of social engineering are First, tailgating and piggybacking attacks. Tailgating attacks are also called piggybacking attacks. For those attacks, an unauthorized person enters a restricted area or system with the authorization of another person. The following are some common examples, an attacker enters a restricted area by closely following the victim as the victim enters. An attacker pretends to be an employee who forgets to bring an identity card and asks another employee or doorkeeper to open the door. An attacker pretends to borrow a victim's computer and quickly installs malware. Another example of social engineering attack is shoulder surfing. Shoulder surfing is the act of watching somebody as they reveal private information. It typically involves the victim using an electronic device such as an ATM, a computer, or a phone. Shoulder surfing can be used to steal any information. It's often used to find passwords, payment details, and pins. The third example we will go through now is dumpster diving. Dumpster diving is looking for treasure in someone else's trash. In the world of information technology IT, dumpster diving is a technique used to retrieve information that could be used to carry out an attack or gain access to a computer network from disposed of items. Dumpster diving is wider than searching through the trash for obvious treasures, such as access codes or passwords written down on sticky notes. Seemingly innocent information, such as a phone list, calendar or organizational chart can assist an attacker in using social engineering techniques to gain access to the network. Finally, the focus for today will be a phishing attack. In the past, we learned that phishing attacks use email or malicious websites to solicit personal information by posing as a trust for the organization. For example, an attacker may send emails seemingly from a reputable credit card company or financial institution requesting account information, often suggesting a problem. When users respond with the requested information, attackers can use it to access the accounts. Under the SMS scam attack, we will talk about the term smishing attack. Smishing attacks will be the key focus for today's sharing. Smishing is a form of social engineering that exploits SMS, or text, messages. They fall into the same clarification as phishing. Text messages can contain links to such things as web pages, email addresses or phone numbers. These are very common forms of smishing attacks. When the user clicks any of the mentioned, their device will automatically open a browser window or email message or dial a number. This integration of email, voice, text message, and web browser functionality increases the likelihood that users will fall victim to engineered malicious activity. The scammer aims to install malware into your phone or tablet. This malware can create a backdoor or transfer information to the scammer. Remember, mobile devices are always online via telecommunication networks like 4G or 5G. Or it will be via the wireless connection. Or create a tunnel to connect to the scammer system to inform the scammer that this number is alive. Now they can reach this number using another method like WhatsApp or call. Now, we will use some quick tips to protect yourself from smishing attacks. Learn all these tips to protect your data and your finances. Now we will share tip number one. Please do not click on URL links or reply to unsolicited messages. Remember, 
We want to avoid installing malware or linking our device to a scammer system. This is one good example of a random smishing attack. Please note that in many countries, banks will not send any SMSs and emails to their customers with clickable website links. This will reduce the chance that the scammer can impersonate them for a smishing attack. Now, we will move on to tip number two. Remember only verify any claims directly with the source on the official website. Only after you check and verify on the official website can you confidently respond or share any of your details. You can call the official hotline to check if the claim is legit. But please Google the official hotline number instead of using the number in the SMS. The number shared on the SMS can be from the scammer and set up by them. Scammers can work in a team. We are moving on tip number 3. Always be wary of SMSs with spoof headers by looking for grammatical and spelling errors and website links. Grammatical and spelling errors are the most basic total sign of phishing. This applies to both email phishing and SMS phishing. Especially when you see the website is HTTP and not HTTPS, as this is an unsecured website. Next will be tip number 4. Never and please do not reveal your banking details. Banking detail will be your login credentials, security token, unlock code, one-time PIN, ATM and credit card PIN, and banking statement if any of this detail falls into the scammer's hands. They can call the bank to change their phone PIN or ask to change their home address. And, of course, do not reveal your personal information to anyone. Although a lot of your time, your social media platform reveals some of this information. So be careful what you post on your social media platform. Tip number 5. Please be alert and always read the full text message. Sometimes, we can see grammatical errors in this message, we will know this is SMS phishing. The key alert must be exercised when you have received SMSs regarding notifications relating to OTPs or transactions. If this is an invalid transaction, you can follow up immediately and save yourself from damage. Now we have come to tip number 6. Sometimes, a smishing attack will ask you to download mobile applications. Be cautious when downloading third-party mobile applications as it may allow scammers to control your devices and extract your stored credentials remotely. And be alert when such an application must be downloaded from a website and using Play Store or your Apple iTunes. High chance this is malware. And our last tip for today. Always keep your devices updated to enjoy the latest security updates. Patches and updates are essential and ensure all the loopholes in your system are fixed. And, of course, always be cautious when surfing the web. I hope you have enjoyed this video and learn how to protect yourselves from SMS scams. Do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to receive the latest update. And finally, please do like, comment and share.